Shalom to all of you who are listening to me this morning. My name is Chris Nikumana. I'm the host of the Kanguka Broadcast. Today is Friday and I want to share a word with you. First of all, I want to speak to the people who are saved, those who have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and who have made the decision to believe in Him. If you believe in Jesus, if you have accepted Jesus Christ, I want you to know that you are not under condemnation. The Word of God says in Romans chapter 8 verse 1 that there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. You cannot be condemned for the sins that you committed in the past. I hope that you have listened to the last Friday's broadcast. I was showing you that Satan lies to people and he tries to bring condemnation by reminding them of the sins they committed in the past. You keep hearing a condemning voice telling you that God can't listen to you because you committed many sins in the past. He reminds you that you have killed many babies through abortion. He reminds you that you have lied and you have committed fraud in order to get your immigration papers. He reminds you about things that you have done and that are binding you today. He reminds you about the people you killed. He reminds you about all the bad things you did in the past. But last Friday, I shared with you a very encouraging verse found in Hebrews chapter 10 verse 17. I showed you that if you have repented from your past sins, God doesn't even remember those sins anymore. He not only forgave you for those sins, but he also forgot about them. Why do you let Satan remind you about the sins that God has forgotten? God doesn't care about those bad sins anymore. So you need to avoid falling into that trap. Earlier in the broadcast, we saw in Romans chapter 8 verse 1 that there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. So don't let Satan accuse you. Today, if you are saved, you are no longer under condemnation. You start a brand new life. We saw in 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 that if you are in Christ, if you are a new creation, all things have passed away and all things have become new. I hope that you understand this. You have made many mistakes out of ignorance. You have done many bad things when you were still an unbeliever and a sinner. It's true that you committed many sins and they still have an impact in your life today but I am has forgotten about those sins. Don't let Satan lie to you. Don't let him bind you. Satan knows how to bind the children of God but don't let him bind you because you have already been forgiven. I will say it again. If you have confessed Jesus Christ, if you have repented from your sins, then you have been forgiven and your sins have been forgotten. So you need to stop falling into Satan's trap. This morning, I want to show you again that those who are saved will face judgment. But it won't be a judgment to bring condemnation for sin. It will be a judgment related to your good works here on earth. First Peter chapter 4 verse 17 says that judgment will begin at the house of God. It means that those who are saved will be judged first. In case you didn't know this, some believers claim that they won't be judged but that's not true. You will be judged but it won't be a judgment that brings condemnation and that sends you to hell. It will be a judgment that will enable you to receive a reward based on the good works that you have done in this world. Judgment will start in the house of God. But verse 17 goes on to say that if judgment will start with us who are saved, if judgment will start in the house of God first, then what will be the end of those who do not obey the gospel of God? What will happen to the unbelievers? Let me tell you that they will have a very bad ending. My desire for everyone who's listening to me this morning is that you will have a good ending to your life. To have a good ending means to die in Christ. If you are living in sin right now, if you are living in sexual immorality, if you are bound by pornography or drunkenness, my wish for you is that you won't die in your sins. If you die in your sins, you will go to hell. You will miss out on heaven. I wish that you will die in Christ so you can receive eternal life. I want you to abandon your sinful ways. If you need assistance from a servant of God, you can give us a WhatsApp call at plus two five six seven eight one three seven seven three three seven.
now in the second part of the broadcast and we're going to continue the teaching we started on monday the teaching is called what are your priorities and if you are new to the broadcast you can go to the archive section of our mobile app or our website and listen to what we've already covered so far i'm trying to show you that you need to make i am your top priority you need to value the things that are important to him but many children of god give more importance to earthly things than the things of god for the last few days i've been talking about the topic of punctuality i want you to understand that when you are on time to a meeting it's an indication that the person you are going to meet is important to you for instance let's say that i have an appointment with you at some restaurant tomorrow at 4 p.m so tomorrow i get there early and i sit at a table and i wait for you at 4 p.m you are still not there so i continue to wait patiently another five minutes go by and you are still not there 10 minutes go by and you are still not there 15 minutes go by and you are still not there and you haven't even called me i finally decide to call you and i found out that you were still sleeping and you tell me that you are sorry you are too tired you are going to get ready and come i have to wait until you get ready and we have to wait at least another 30 minutes before you can finally come to see me it will be obvious to me that our meeting wasn't important to you if it was important to you you would have come early you would have been at the restaurant even before 4 p.m if you meeting with someone who's important to you you can't be late you actually try to be there before that person so you go early that's why i say that if you have a visa interview or if you are hoping to get something else that's important to you from someone you can show up late to your meeting you can let that person wait for you you will do everything you can to come early and wait for the other person you should be the one waiting for that person and not the other way around because that person is very important to you if you are meeting with an important person you can make that person wait you are the one who should be waiting for the important person i hope that you get this if you are late to a meeting you are demonstrating that the meeting is not important to you i often tell the children of god that if you always wake up in the morning to prepare your day it's a very good thing and it has a lot of value in the eyes of i am you should have a specific time when you wake up and pray before you do anything else these days it's easy to set an alarm you can set an alarm on your phone so you can wake up and pray if you know that you have to leave your home at 7 a.m or 6 30 a.m then you just need to set your alarm area so you can have enough time to pray and enough time to get ready to go to work you need to wake up early so i am can see that he is your top priority i can tell you that whenever you sacrifice your sleep so you can be in the presence of i am you are touching his heart if your alarm rings why you in Enjoying your sleep and you resist the urge to continue to sleep and you get out of your bed and you say to yourself i was enjoying my sleep but i am going to wake up because i am is more important than my sleep i can assure you that you are really touching the heart of i am when you do this because he knows how important and how enjoyable sleep is and he can see that you are willing to sacrifice your sleep for his sake he can see that he is more important than your your sleep you prefer to abandon the benefits of sleeping more so you can go to offer a sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to i am you are demonstrating that i am is very important to you but if you wake up in the morning and you say it's okay let me get a little bit more sleep i pray later and then you sleep again you get more rest and you finally wake up and you go straight to take a shower and you get ready and you eat breakfast and you head out of your home and then it means that sleeping and eating breakfast and getting dressed are all activities that are more important to you than i am why because you didn't take time to pray you didn't give priority to prayer remember the words of paul in roman chapter 12 verse 1 he said that we need to present our bodies as living sacrifices when you offer a sacrifice it means that you are giving something even though you are giving up something you're doing it because you value the person who receives your sacrifice 
sacrifice. If you sacrifice your sleep, it's because you value the person you are going to meet. You value I am. If your church service starts at 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. and you know that you don't go there just to please your pastor or any other person, but you know that you're going there to meet with other children of God so you can praise I am together and you know that the head of the church is Christ. Then you wake up early and you make sure that you get there on time because you are thinking about giving importance to Christ. Let me tell you that if you have prayerfully determined that your church service should start at 9 a.m., you need to know that at 9 a.m., there are angels of I am who are already present and they are ready to do the task that they were sent to. But you are still asleep, you are 30 minutes late or an hour late. Why? Because you were doing other things and you were sleeping, you wanted to get more rest. God willing, I will continue to explain this topic on Monday. I wish you all a great weekend. May I am bless you. If you want to repent or you transformed by these teachings, you can contact us by sharing your testimony in order to edify other listeners by contacting us on plus 256-781-377-337.